Hi, welcome to Why These Notes. Today I'm going to talk to you about consonants and dissonance. Uh, the word consonant is, means that two notes sound good together, uh, they're harmonious, uh, they feel stable, and the word dissonance means that two notes clash when played together, and they're unstable, and uh, in general, uh, two notes that are dissonant to each other want to return to two notes that are consonant to each other and much of music is this interplay between consonants and dissonance. We sort of increase the tension by increasing the dissonance and then we relieve the tension by uh, consonants, similar to the way uh, a good story increases the tension and then sets up a release. So to quickly review, uh, Do is, uh, is one or a one to two ratio. Uh, so is a two to three ratio. These are consonances still. Fa is a three to four ratio, which is pretty consonant. Uh, mi, uh, which is the major third, is a four to five ratio. The minor mi is a five to six ratio. Now, uh, these notes are all the notes we need to get all of the notes in the major scale. So if we take, for example, so, which is a two-thirds ratio, and multiply it by mi. If we add mi to so, we get the interval t, uh, which is the major seventh, and we simply multiply two times four is eight, and three times five is 15. So we get the ratio eight to 15, which we can represent as 15 to 16, uh, multiplying eight by two to get 16. And as you can see, this is a pretty complicated ratio. I mean, this is, uh, I mean, if you compare it to this, it's, it's pretty complicated. Um, you, you easily get lost in there. And if you think of, uh, so a two to three ratio, you know, the lowest common denominator is six, right? Uh, so every six cycles, it repeats nicely. 15 to 6, I don't, I can't even do the math, you know, what, what, uh, 15 and 8, you put them together, you get something like, uh, 120, they, this cycle repeats every 120 times, um, it's just really, you know, this, this is a very sort of complicated sound, uh, and then I have a few other ratios here, uh, the major second, which is the fifth of the fifth, it's just so, fun so, is an eight to nine ratio. Uh, the minor seventh, which is a fifth plus a minor third, uh, so it's a so plus um, me, which is the minor third, is a 10 to nine ratio. And the major seventh, as we said, is a 15 to 16th ratio. Uh, so these are pretty dissonant intervals. Um, they're complicated, they're not uh, really easy to comprehend simply, uh, and this this makes them tense. It builds tension uh, when you play these intervals together. Uh, so these complicated intervals, you know, uh, just sort of visually looking at them, if, if this was, you know, an animation or a movie, uh, and and these are all sort of flashing lights, um, you would want to return to the simplicity of these intervals, um, much more soothing to the eye and to the ear than these complicated intervals. So this is uh, sort of what we mean by consonance and dissonance, is, is that things get complicated uh, and then they get simple. And these are just intervals, these aren't even chords. Uh, chords make things much more difficult because they have uh, multiple intervals within them. So, uh, you know, you may have these intervals combined with these intervals and that creates much, much more uh, complexity in the music. Um, so this is a, a simple visual guide to complexity and then I'm going to show you a little bit of complexity, uh, what these sound like on the guitar. Um, but I want you to see that um, these complicated intervals uh, want to return to, to the simple versions. Um, and, and the reason these notes um, sounds dissonant is their complexity. And there are intervals that are even more uh, complex than these. But um, 
you know, uh, just to quickly give you a visual reference point for uh, what dissonance is, for what complexity is, uh, I hope this is a little bit helpful, and I'm going to show you a little complexity, uh, you know, consonants and dissonance on the guitar, um, so you can hear what these things sound like. And uh, my name is Mark, this is Why These Notes, and I hope this has been helpful to you.